And so we're just going to make a, a bath of oil. A CBD uh, kind of bath bomb thing. It's a little bit um, too thin, so I'm going to be adding some things to it. So I added a little more bicarb there just to stiffen it up a little bit because we're going to be adding some more liquid ingredients. And I want to be able to work with it. So if you find it's liquefying, I need just to add a little more of those, those ingredients. Now what I'm going to add is an ounce of polysorbate. I'm doing a experiment to see how much polysorbate I actually need. I mean, why use, you know, this very expensive product? Why overuse it? So we're just going to add an ounce to about a pound of mix and about 80 grams of coconut oil. So that's a 30 to 1. And like I suspected, we're going to need a little more uh, of our solid ingredients. So I'm going to add some more Epsom salts because Epsom salts are really important in this one. Boy, my salts are solidifying all on their own. I guess and by golly all the time. So that's about a hundred grams more. Once again got me where I needed to be. Perfect. Alright, so I can do a little test. See if my oils are gonna emulsify or if I need more of that. Now the other reason I'm using polysorbate is because I'm going to gild the lily, so to speak, and we're going to paint the little um, uh, uh, cannabis leaf with mica when we're done. Bit of this and I'm going to add some, some water to this. And if it's emulsifying, it's going to turn white and opaque. 
And I think we're good. There's a little bit, maybe. Oh, it's even fizzing a little bit with that uh, coconut oil. I mean, coconut um, cream on top. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that's good. So an ounce to 100 is plenty. So, all right, let's pack the molds. Let's pack these babies in. Okay, I like it, I like it, I like it. Now this is a simpler mold, which will make it really easy. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the middle ones and just move it out. Okay, so we're gonna go up. Got all the shadows today. Let's just move that out of the way. Put it over here. Sorry about that. Make sure. Get these fun medallions. I wanted to be able to differentiate my recipes. I'm going for two different perspectives. So I'll ask again, has anybody out there tried CBD in their bath products or for other reasons? I know a lot of people are toting health benefits as well. I'm not gonna make any claims, but some of them look pretty legit. So do your research. And if you feel so inclined, give it a try. Always messy, always messy, always messy. I absolutely love coconut oil, virgin coconut oil. It used to be really hard to get. I remember paying $100 for a gallon of this stuff. <laughs> this is early days, guys. It's really, really early days. But, um, and then just totally like drooling over it and now I can cook with it which is amazing thank you tropical places like Hawaii and Africa for bringing it to the market in such a affordable format you know look for ethically traded tropical oils Um, they're higher quality, for one, I found. I mean, there are some cheap coconut oils out there, but they kind of gross me out, honestly. Some of the first um, coconut oils that got on the market were just, it's like they were, they definitely had issues and they weren't good ones smelled kind of gross and there is nothing gross about this I kind of gag on MTC though I don't know what they've done to that I'm not so such a fan of MTC oil I know they've done things to make it more easily absorbable but is that healthy I don't know I'd much rather go with like this virgin coconut oil when using it as a vehicle for something like this. All right, so I'm gonna pop these in the fridge and then we'll finish up. Let's see what we can do here. So I'm going to pull on these gently. And then pop them out. 
Meow. I'm not sure it's going to be worthwhile to paint them, but I am going to dust them. Now, I did put these in the freezer because, uh, yeah, coconut oil right now is going liquidy. I would use, for this time of year, which is April, May, I would use coconut, cocoa butter, or a mixture of coconut and cocoa butter for these. Now, let's see how many we can get in here. Nobody eats anything I give them because they know I make soap. <laughs> so it's kind of evil, this container, but now it works. <laughs> they know it's not going to be candy. Now I want to make sure these cool off and don't hold any of the moisture from the freezer. And we'll see how these do. Will I recommend this recipe? Not so much. I'll do another one because this was kind of hard to work with in warm weather. So I will definitely come up with a better one. This was so similar to my um, Halloween um, candy corn emoji poos that I didn't think I was gonna have any issues and I obviously did. Now I'm going to use, put a few of these in this container at the bottom because I'm not sure what's going to happen here. There are a few of you who wanted to see what happens as it sits in melt and pour this particular herb. And it does bleach out, but there's no... It actually looks better bleached out on that one I did anyway. And this one is getting darker, but there's nothing else going on. We'll see. We will see. Looks good to me. All right. So there. There it is. Now I'm going to put a few different... Um, creations in this it's because it's a special gift and uh, you may have already you will see those being made in upcoming sessions this is the most successful of the three <laughs> cbd uh bath oils um yeah so <laughs> apparently working with that cbd oil does change things a little bit the mtc um uh, really does change things a little all right, if you enjoyed this, please click like and subscribe and come on back to my soapy kitchen anytime. Bye for now.